This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and the Quickset Smart Key System is rapidly becoming one of the most popular home locks in the US. I have picked all versions of it in past videos, but even so, they are far more pick resistant than anything Quickset has produced in the past. Because of that, people are thinking outside the box and have come up with some really creative ways of non-destructively opening these. Among them, this tool is probably my favorite. It's made by Loctec, and it's a small Wi-Fi camera set up in such a way that you can take pictures of the sliders inside the lock. Once you see the sliders, this card will help you decipher how deep the cuts on the key should be. So I'm going to get this streaming to my old cell phone, and then we're going to try to find out what the key to this lock looks like. Okay, we have little spacers that help you find the correct depth for each of the sliders. I'm not going to use them. I find it a little bit easier just to slide it in and stop at the correct location. Okay, there's the first slider. That appears to be a one cut. I should note that if you want to save these pictures for later, just push the button on the side and the picture is saved to your phone. The next slider appears to be a five cut. The next one is another one cut. Now we have what appears to be a four cut. And the last one is a five cut. So the key cuts for this lock are one, five, one, four, five. What do we do with them? Well, in a pinch, I can get a key blank, a key gauge, and a file, and file down a new key. But I just so happen to have a special machine in my garage that's designed for cutting keys from these numbers. So let's head down there and try it out. Okay, folks, I'm down in my garage with my HPC Blitz machine, which is, in my opinion at least, the gold standard when it comes to key origination. This is the card for cutting quick set keys and I'm going to load a KW1 blank into the jaws. I'll now do my very best to cut a key safely while working around the tripod. Okay, folks, as you saw, that worked very nicely, and it's not too hard to understand why this type of attack would be very attractive to locksmiths or even to a law enforcement entry team. They would only need to be exposed in front of the door for a few seconds, then they could come back with a working key. The capability is, however, a bit pricey. This tool costs north of $300, and the better key cutting solutions start around $1,000. That said, the cost probably is not a serious obstacle to the people this tool is intended for, who probably already have the means to cut the keys. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always,
have a nice day. Thank you.